Hey Aquarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is December 2022. We're going to be looking at um, the energy coming in for you guys going into January, New Year 2023. Um, we're going to see what messages that spirit has for you. If you enjoy these readings, you want more just like this one, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell below so you are aware of when I drop these readings. You don't want to miss out. Hope you're having a beautiful, happy, safe holiday season. You're staying warm wherever you are. Um, Aquarius, if you're interested in a personalized tarot reading, I do have a special sale going on till the end of December. Um, if you want to take advantage of that offer, you can head over to my Etsy shop. The sale is on everything from my readings to my tarot, oracle deck, spiritual jewelry, and cheat sheets. All right, so let's jump right in. Let's see what comes out for you guys. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, the one card challenge, we have the King of Wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, a fiery, fiery-like energy, right? Um, this could be something here that just isn't moving forward. I feel like maybe you're dealing with someone that isn't taking the action that you expected them to take, okay? So they could be coming across with this... Uh, in this King of Wands like energy as someone that you want movement with. You want forward movement, change, charge. You want them to take charge on a situation. And that is the challenge. They're not doing that. So we're going to find out more about this person or uh, energy you're dealing with. Some of you guys, you could be in this King of Wands energy, right? You want to take action. But perhaps there's some kind of challenge or issue in doing that. In the past, we have the Judgment, Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Page of Cups in reverse. Aquarius, you had to make a big decision and it feels like the decision was made because there's some kind of finality here. Um, so there could have been a situation that was not fair, balanced. Maybe you feel like someone wasn't pouring into you what you poured into them. And I'm saying that because the Six of Pentacles is in a verse. Something was not reciprocated. There was no balance, harmony. Um, it feels to me like there's something you had to do because... You weren't getting your needs met or there's something here that just wasn't, again, balanced. There were adjustments that were required. I do feel the Page of Cups is here because there's just someone that maybe you had love for. But there's the energy of like, I'm sorry, I can't keep doing this. I can't keep allowing such treatment. So if you felt like you were getting crumbed by this person, right? Six of Pentacles in verse, you were getting bare minimum. You were getting crumbs. It feels to me like you had to do it. And it feels like it could have been very difficult, right? That page of cups. It's like, I, I want to love you. I want to be there for you. But, you know, I have to do what's best for me. I have to do what's for my own happiness. Especially if you are getting cheated, robbed, or given less than, right? The judgment is like putting your foot down. So let's take a look at where the energy is right now. Aquarius, please. Knight of Cups. Four wands and an ace of cups. You both, and I want to say both of you, you and your person. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You both are missing each other. You both are feeling the effects of a falling out, okay? Ace of cups is a missed opportunity in reverse. This is someone that you love, but I also feel like this is someone that loved you just as much. But I don't think they perhaps showed it, right? The king of wands in a challenging position, they may have not taken action on it. There also could be something here where the home, it wasn't what you wanted. Maybe you had this picturesque view or vision of what the home would look like or what you are, um, what you were building with this person, family, marriage, right? Four wands could be marriage, all those things. And you weren't getting that. Four wands in a verse could speak about a lack of peace and harmony in the home. And it just feels to me like with that energy, like it just... You weren't feeling secure and safe, okay? So you both are missing each other. This can also speak about some kind of breakdown in the home as a result of a falling out between you and them. Maybe someone got kicked out of the home. Maybe you guys are distant from each other and you're missing each other, okay? Especially around the holidays where people get together in the home and family, okay? In the environment, we have the emperor, the tower in reverse, Page of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so um, could be a Scorpio, could be anybody, right? Could be a divine masculine, could be someone you have a child with. The Emperor could be a father figure, father-like figure. 
could be someone you're married to. There's a tower moment that your person is going through. And Aquarius, um, this is something here that may change your person for the better. For some of you, the tower had already happened and now they're rising above to this emperor-like energy. Someone who's ready to take back control, be this leader, be um, the person you always wanted them to be. It feels like there's an the energy of rising above and maturing, okay? Doing the right thing. Seven of Wands is definitely your person, how they see moving towards you, which means fighting for something that they believe in, something that they're passionate about, something that they want. It's like really standing your ground. It's setting boundaries around something. So maybe there's something that they're having to set boundaries regarding other people. Page of Swords and Verse can be gossip, rumors, maybe things that may have been said by other people that gotten got in the way of what you guys were creating in some way. I feel like there's the energy of protection. Emperor and Seven of Wands is screaming, protecting something that they really honestly, truly desire, something that they're passionate about. So after a tower moment, someone could be realizing that this is what I want. This is what I want to fight for. This is what I want to defend, okay? And this could be also someone that you're not communicating with right now because the Page of Swords is in reverse after maybe a tower moment. Maybe there's been some kind of fight, argument, and miscommunication. Coming into the outcome, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Ace of Wands and the Moon in reverse. Okay, so something is coming out, right? The Moon talks about secrets, but it also could talk about fears and security, something that may have been hidden behind closed doors in a dark space, okay? Now, with the Queen of Wands, there could be something coming out or being revealed to you regarding a Queen of Wands energy. It could be someone that your person was dealing with. Let's be honest, right? We do have a few court cards here. It also could be your energy, right? Aquarius, it could be a King of Wands and a Queen of Wands, and we have this Emperor. It could be, you know, definitely um, a third party, but it also could just be you and them. The energy is telling me that there is a new beginning on the horizon, but there's something that has to come out and be revealed. It could be explained why someone wasn't able to take action, okay, towards you with the Queen of Wands in a verse. It can also be a secret being revealed to you regarding a Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, okay? Maybe a passionate lover, an ex, a past person. There's a new beginning on the horizon with the Ace of Wands. It's new, okay? Aces are new beginnings. It could be a revival of something that was dead. And it's passionate. It's coming in. It's fairly quickly, okay? Um, wands is like, I desire this. This is important to me, okay? Let's jump right in. Let's see what else we can find out. Like, share, comment, subscribe, or Chris. If you enjoy these readings, I appreciate it greatly. King of Wands is the challenge. Why is the King of Wands here? What do we need to know? Five of Cups. Someone has a lot of regret, sorrow, remorse regarding a situation here. Um, this could be a fire sign who has these feelings right now. Five of Cups are thinking about something that didn't happen or it should have happened a different way. Maybe there's something they said, done, maybe behaved, and it feels like they have a lot of regret about it, okay? In the past, give me the energy. We have the Judgment, Six of Pentacles. What's the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Cups about? Four of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles in a verse. So, I definitely feel like in the past, you and this person had something you had to resolve. There was some kind of conflict that maybe you guys weren't able to resolve fully. You know, there's something here about a missed opportunity because there's some kind of past conflict. I'm getting like a domino effect. So maybe something happened and someone never truly resolved it, swept under the rug and it came right back. Okay, but not only came back, but it came back 10 times worse. It feels like instead of resolving an issue... Four of Swords, someone may have went quiet, someone may have silenced the other person, could be very petty, could be very immature, or could just be someone avoiding, um, avoidant behavior, right? Avoiding an issue. So it does feel like it resulted in a missed opportunity, but also a big decision was made. And this decision could have been to um, let something go, right? It's like page of cups and verse. Someone wasn't willing to apologize, extend themselves. Someone wasn't willing to maybe um, right their wrongs with the other person. Instead, they kind of let this connection go and... There's some kind of, again, finality uh, finality to it, right? Where it's like, I don't want to do this anymore, or I'd rather just not address it. I'd rather just, you know, not uh, approach you and be accountable for something that I've done. So someone was reluctant to apologize or, you know, someone was not able to forgive the other person, okay? So that's, it's one or the other, for sure. Give me the energy of the judgment. Page of Pentacles in a verse. Someone in the past was definitely holding back i'm seeing a lot of like resistance with the page of pentacles not being ready to own up to reach out to send a message to initiate something and it's regarding a new opportunity so someone in the past wanted a new opportunity to have a revival or resurrection in love with you but aquarius someone wasn't willing to t take that first step 
to send a message. Page of Pentacles in the verb. Someone was holding back. Now, give me the energy right now. Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, all coming out in reverse. Chariot, King of Pentacles, and a Two of Wands in reverse. So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn can also be a Cancer. Someone has the ability to provide some kind of support or come in with some kind of stability. Someone definitely wants to take charge of this situation with the chariot, but there's a decision they're having to make. There's been a lot of indecision here, and it does feel like it's only a matter of time. Someone is going to get out of this indecisive energy and make a decision and let go of something. Two wands in a verse can be, again, two people, two paths, two opportunities, and now making a decision to go toward one. The chariot is like, this is someone who's choosing the most successful uh, outcome. You know, they're, they're choosing a direction or a path that is going to provide them with a favorable outcome. Okay, whatever that means. And it's regarding love. So if someone turned their back on love in the past, if someone wasn't willing to surrender to this loving connection, someone, you know, closed off this opportunity in love, it does feel like now someone is saying, I want to do this. I want to be successful. I want to take charge on this matter. Um, Let's take a look at what's coming in. Let me find out more about the tower. What's going on behind the scenes with the emperor and the tower? Ace of swords in a verse, the knight of cups and the knight of pentacles in a verse. Someone is realizing that by holding back, okay, you know, I'm getting the energy of not talking, not speaking, silencing, ghosting, ace of swords in a verse. Someone has been, I'm, I'm just getting reluctant to speak up. It has resulted in their own deprivation of love and happiness, right? The Knight of Cups in the verse. Someone is very much bothered by the fact that they no longer have the love that they want in their life. Knight of Cups came out both in reverse twice. And it's telling me it's your person. So someone is having a big realization tower moment, right? They're realizing something here. And it's regarding partnership. Someone wants partnerships. Someone wants love in their partnerships. And it feels like maybe they settled for something that wasn't giving them the love that they truly had with you. They don't have the real love anymore. So someone is saying, what was I thinking? The tower moment is a big realization. And now this is making your person, this emperor, rise up to the occasion. Rise up to this love opportunity. Now give me the page of swords. This could be a child. This could be hearsay, gossip, rumors. And then the seven of wands is right next to it. Eight of Swords and a judgment in reverse. Someone lied to themselves. Someone was in denial. And now they realize that I've made a big mistake. The judgment in reverse. What was I thinking? I made a bad judgment call. This is someone who's realizing that. Now, you're dealing with someone that has not said those words to you. And it feels like the fact that they haven't said those words and owned up to what they've done. Right? Even though they know what they've done. Eight of Swords is driving them crazy. It's it's getting them to a point where they're in great distress, agony, worries, frustrations, Eight of Swords. This is someone that's doing a lot of thinking, overthinking, right, about you, about them. And they realize their faults, okay? Now, the Seven of Wands is going to push this person to take action and protect the connection, Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands again. Seven of Wands is a very, very strong energy for really like, this is where I stand. This is what I'm willing to fight for. And I'm, I'm doing it, right? This is where it starts. So the Eight of Pentacles, your person is putting in the work, time, energy, effort. They're willing to do the work, to show up. And there's the energy of really building something. Seven of Wands, this could be building a barrier, or some kind of blockage, some something that shouldn't be there in their life. This could be setting boundaries with other people. So if there were other love interests, this could be saying, no, I'm not allowing that person to affect what I have with you. Um, Seven of Wands and Eight of Pentacles is definitely screaming to me like, I'm going to do anything, everything and anything, okay, in order to protect what I have, the Seven of Wands, okay? As far as the outcome, we have a new beginning coming in. Ace of Wands is fiery. It's new. It's, it's moving towards you. It could be coming in with a big, big, I mean, let's face it, the moon and the verse. It, it could be a big secret coming out and being revealed to you. Seven of Swords. So someone is coming back and revealing something that they're not proud of. Seven of Swords is lying, cheating, deceiving. I went behind your back. I lied to you. Um, I I did that with this person. It, you know, the Seven of Swords in reverse is confessing. Something here they may have done in the past they're not proud of and may have caused some kind of big, big rift between you and them. The moon paired with it is like its secrets being revealed. So I do feel like this Ace of Wands, someone is coming back to reveal these things, to confess as a means to have this new beginning. In fact, they may put two to two together that I can't have this new fiery beginning with Aquarius until I reveal and confess everything. And it all comes out to the surface. And it could be regarding a passionate lover, an ex, or someone like a third party with the Queen of Wands energy. This could be a mistress or someone, male or female, doesn't matter. 
So this Ace of Wands, someone's coming in, new beginning, but it does feel like it's going to come with a lot. It's going to come with some secrets being dispelled, okay? Things coming out, maybe you had no idea, things that were hidden from you. And Aquarius, you know, it may bring some emotions, let's be honest. We have the challenge of Five of Cups and the King of Wands. It could be someone coming in with passion, with excitement, but also a lot of hurt. Five of Cups, it makes you feel like, oh my gosh, you know, why did you do this to me? You're going to be very much focused on things that may have happened in the past that, you know, again, this is like spilled milk. You're so fixated on everything that has gone wrong, everything that this person has done, something from the past, and you're not focused on the two of cups that may be behind you. So that is a challenge for you guys. There's something that's going to come out. And yeah, this person comes in with a lot of passion, excitement to have this new revival, Ace of Wands, a new beginning. However, the five of cups, the past is still very heavy. Okay, and and dark, the moon, <laughs> dark and emotional. Okay, the moon is emotions, five of cups is emotions. Aquarius, that is your reading. I hope you guys have a beautiful week ahead to the end of December and a great start to New Year. I will be definitely coming soon with an update. And I will also have your extended bonus reading for the month of January 2023. Stay tuned. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. And again, my sale is going on on Etsy till December 31st. All right, take care. Bye.